Howdy, howdy folks, it is Diecast Buffet here again, and welcome back to NASCAR Thunder 2004. Well, it's time for a brand new season. Generally, we do a Thunder 2003 season mode after this, but I've been having so much fun playing this Thunder game, I decided, you know what, we're going to do back-to-back -back seasons. We've won back-to-back -back championships, so why not? So, in this episode, we're going to be uh, heading down to Daytona to kick off Speed Week's 2011. Crazy to think we started this playthrough uh, in the year 2003 in this game. And now, uh, we're, we're kind of the veteran driver. I mean, truth be told, we are a true veteran now. We're a two-time defending Winston Cup championship uh, winner. And let's go, uh, let's check out what's going on in the garage. So, the, pretty much our sponsor for the rest of the entire season. And look, let's be honest, the happiness is good. <laughs> I mean, they're, 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 they got the happy meals, you know what I'm saying? Uh, finish in fifth place, very doable, right? Uh, qualified first place, very doable. Rank first in earnings, that is the bell cow. Because if you win the Daytona 500, that you're going to have that, uh, that pretty much locked up for the rest of the year. We won the Daytona 500 in 2010. Which is kind of weird because just like Jamie McMurray won the Daytona 500 in 2010, you know, a lot of people don't know. Jamie McMurray, when he won the 500 in 2010, he originally wasn't sponsored by McDonald's. And I think the story goes that he actually mentioned McDonald's in Victory Lane. And they actually sponsored him. And sure enough, they would be on his car for God knows how many years. So it's kind of funny how we won the Daytona 500 and later that season, sure enough, they were on our race car. Uh, so we're here in the shop. Let's see what's, uh, what we got. So we got our plate car um, almost ready. We didn't get chassis number 11 completely fixed. That's okay, though. Uh, we're going we're gonna to get this one 15 fixed up. Uh, wait. Oh, crap. We got to hire a crew. I'm an idiot. So, yeah, we got to go. Uh, <laughs> we got to open the pocketbook. Here. Let's get some cats. Look, I believe you start a team with a coach or a crew chief. So, um I want to say this means we got a new crew chief this year, but check out this dude. Overall, 87. Uh, come on, board. Uh, let's see. Engine Builder. He's been a long-time cat. Boot who? He's been a long-time cat at Buffet Racing South. I think Haynes was on here, too. Coach Haynes, uh, for those Mad TV fans out there. You know, maybe the crew chief was the same guy. I'm not sure. Uh, let's get Wilson on board there, and so let's go to the front tire changer. Look, I want the best cats. We got Chris Myers. He's going to be, uh, retiring from the Hollywood Hotel. He's going to be a pit crew member. That's great. Uh, we got P. Short. Hopefully the pit stops are short. Uh, what, what is this guy? Mosling and Poole. Let's see. This guy's a 99 potential. A 99 potential? I don't think I've ever seen one in this game, a 99 potential. That's insanity. I think Moore has been on the team for a while. Jackman... Uh, I believe Jones was here uh, last year. I mean, I want to keep the same pit crew, honestly. We just won a championship, but, you know, people come and go. Catch Can Man, let's, uh, let's get Ekman on board. I mean, we got probably, I would say, a top 10 pit crew. It's certainly not the best pit crew because the AI generally has, like, three-second faster pit stops sometimes. So, uh, sponsorship, good. Team's good. Garage is almost good. We need to get these parts ready to go. Um, so yeah, we got our plate engine, all that should be ready to go, I believe, yeah. So we got the 100 power plant. Now, of course, the power is a little bit down, but I would have to go and rebuild. I have to sell this one and build a whole nother one. I'm, I'm just going to roll with it. I mean, we've won a lot of plate races. Uh, so anyways, let's see what we need to repair here. Uh, I say we repair our secondary speedway engine. Let's go and get that fixed up. Uh, for those who don't remember last year, we did build a brand new engine for Bristol. And for the newer fan who's just tuning in for this whole series here, guys, uh, we do this realistically. We're, we, we don't just do one or two seasons, win the championship, and quit. No, we do, we're going for 18-plus seasons on this thing, guys. So uh, that's what's a lot of fun. Let's see what's, uh, let's repair the other Speedway part. Ah, actually, that one's better, though. We're going to want that for Vegas. Tell you what, let's not even mess with it. But anyways, um, what I do in this playthrough to keep the game as realistic as possible is we don't upgrade any of the uh, the, uh, the the body shop, engine shop, or chassis shop um, uh, parts and whatnot. Because if you keep upgrading your car, it's just going to be so overpowered that you're going to win every race. And it makes it so like, boring to watch, right? Um, a lot of people, they upgrade their car to the max and they win all 36 races. No. Perfect amount of, of AI difficulty with the ability to still be competitive. So anyways, um, for those who are also just tuning in, 
I think Kyle Petty retired uh, last offseason. No, I don't want to quit. And um, who else retired as well? Oh, yeah, Ward Burton. Yeah, freaking Ward Burton retired. That was crazy. So anyways, we're going to Daytona now. We need to get our Budweiser shootout car ready to go. Um, you know, let's, let's, let's try out a good piece. Let's try out a good piece. Let's just let's just run the normal super speedway uh, car uh, that we're going to run the Daytona 500. Uh, get a feel for it. Knock the rust off of it. Of course, we have our special Bud shootout paint scheme. I might run that car later on at the, uh, the, the Bristol night race. But nonetheless, car rating 81. Let's go to Daytona. Live in Daytona Beach, Florida, for today's NASCAR Winston Cup action in the pole shootout. Would you look at this field? It's going to be hard to pick a winner in this one. Yeah, this is always a great race. Each driver has earned their spot by being a pole winner, which means we're in for some fast action. And what better place to be than right here at Daytona? 2000 was a memorable year for Johnny Benson at Daytona. He was leading the 500 with four laps to go, but wound up in 12th. And you know, he didn't even have a sponsor up until race day. Johnny was out front and looking good, but he got railroaded by a train of Fords after a late caution restart. 2002 was supposedly an off-season for Jeff Gordon, with three wins and a fourth-place points finish. You know, that just goes to show you what's expected out of this team. With three wins and 19 top tens, there are a lot of teams that would not mind having Gordon's off year. Alrighty, folks, here we go. Well, it's the Budweiser Shootout 2011. So, on the poll today, well, I believe it's by random draw, because obviously I didn't get to do a qualifying round. Uh, round. Uh, the shootout field consists of all poll winners from the previous NASCAR Winter Cup season. Each driver must make a two-tire pit stop under the green uh, during the race. But the poll center is Jeff Green, the one car. Outside, you're going to be Elliot Sadler. I think we're mired about 10th place. You know, this is a race that you, you just got to go earn it, man. There, there's, there's no, there's no second chances in a seven lap shootout, man. You got to go earn it. And if you're wondering what the paint scheme is, it's supposed to be kind of like a ghost pepper or a spicy uh, McDonald's car. That's what I was kind of shooting for with the ghost flames, like a promotion that you would see. Um... Oh crap! Car's really loose. That ain't good. That ain't good. Get back on the banking. Get back on the banking. Oh, yep. This car is ridiculously loose. You know, it's a good thing that uh, we're, we're, we're figuring this out during the shootout and not the Daytona 500 because this thing is stupid loose. Hopefully, with the downforce, with the speeds, this thing will tighten up because we almost lost it on lap one. Oh, boy. No, what, what is Mayfield doing there? Yeah, we cannot hold on to this car, man. We, we're losing it like the 2004 Daytona 500 when the car literally slid around the track so badly. So... We have to make a two-tire pit stop under green. I'm just hoping and praying for a caution. Someone just going to catch fence, something. Uh, let me get down pit road or get this thing tightened up. I'm going to try to see uh, if we can hold the middle groove link. Let's see if it might be a little bit tighter. No, it just hooks dead left, bro. Let me look at this. Oh, no, no, no contact there. Nope, 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 nope. Crap, trying to save it. Trying to save it. Trying to save it. Oh, no, no, Johnny Benson. Oh, we got a crash behind us. Yep, there. Nose to tail. Heard some metal banging, but no one got turned around, unfortunately. So this is not how you want to start your speed weeks. As a Daytona 500 champion. Oh, my goodness. Well, we just flew into the catch fence. Uh, yeah. I'm so sorry, Jay McMurray, but, um... <laughs> All right, fellas. Well, um, take all the drivers, write each one on a piece of paper, and pull it out of a hat, because I have no clues to win this freaking race. Let's watch that replay again, though. What a freaking crazy crash there. So, yeah, we definitely learned what not to do at the Budweiser shootout. We made the car way too loose. You know, loose is fast, right? Uh, yeah, definitely um, not the smartest thing to do. So, we're going down the back straight over here, guys. Car's getting real loose. Wait, is this the same lap or is this... No, it's the next one. Okay, here we go. Yeah. So, let's check this out. So, we're getting real loose. We go in the banking. We're going to bottom out. And I'm, I'm thinking the game just glitches out here. 
Boy, you want slow motion. Get back to the good camera. There we go. Check this out. It's gonna snap. Boom, right there. It just lifts off. And the game pretty much just has an automatic DNF. Um, so how ironic the spicy car ends it up um, on fire. Uh, not the way you want to start your um, your your third uh, straight title defense. Uh, pretty uh, pretty interesting. But just watch this crash, dude. This is gnarly. I mean, look at this. We're gonna go straight into the catch fence right here, my dude. Look at this crash. That is absolutely insane. I'm mean, just look at the damage on this thing. And this is why this is the greatest NASCAR game ever because you would never see this on the newer NASCAR games. I mean, just look how cool that is, man. It literally looks like the, the, the top of the car, the tail end, is just being ripped apart by the catch fence. I mean, that is just so cool. Let me speed up a little bit, and then Jay McMurray is going to come in here. Um, yeah, sorry for uh, kind of a short episode, guys. I was I was wanting to do more, but yeah. Uh, Pontiac of Ricky Craven involved. Just, just a gnarly crash right there, but yeah. Let's see who's going to win. I'm, I'm just going to say... Elliot Sadler, why not? Why why can't Elliot Sadler win this race? Dang it, it's Kenza. It's all good, though. My second pick was going to probably be Craven, but actually, I was going to pick Benson. I wanted to pick one of the Pontiacs, because why not? But uh, Matt Kenseth's going to win the Budweiser shootout. Uh, we got dead last as long as we, we picked Sadler. He got last, too. How in the world did Mick Murray get freaking top five after door slamming us? I have no clue, but... Yeah, that was uh that was an interesting race. So that might be the shortest episode in the series history. Um, so I guess I'll just uh yeah we'll go on and uh, we'll run the duels in the next episode. Thank y'all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll upload these every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, can we uh, maybe have better luck in the duel races? We got to get that car tightened up because that was that was bad, yo. That was bad. Uh, thank y'all so much for watching, and if you ever want to help support the channel, a uh, free shipping code down below for your uh, next time you want to buy some NASCAR diecast for your holiday shopping or birthdays or whatever you want. Uh, 164s, 124s, hats, t-shirts, you name it. Any orders, $20 or more, free shipping at Circle B Diecast with the promo code DIECAST. Buffet. And with that being said, uh, said fellas, I'm going to get me a swig of coffee, and that is going to be it for today's episode. Um, <laughs> sorry about that, fellas. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'll end the video on a good note. Uh, comment down below how your day is going, fellas. I would love to uh, uh, to know. Uh, comment down below. I'll try to heart the comment whenever I see it. Oh, that's a bummer. On the bright side, at least we didn't crash out in the Daytona 500. So, have a great one, everybody. Diecast Buffet. Stay humble. Signing off.